I'm Cameron Burford, running back for Stony Creek Cougars, class of 2021. You just can't be like me. Oh, love on. CB on the beat. I'm Lance Long, owner of LL Speed Sports Development. Uh, I grew up in Sterling Heights, Michigan. Played for the uh, Sterling Heights Redskins. Went on to play at uh, Eisenhower High School. Uh, we were part of uh, two state championship teams. And uh, went into college, went to Mississippi State University. And then I uh, was fortunate enough to play uh, a couple years in the NFL, seven to be exact. Uh, had a really good time. Played for Arizona Cardinals, played for the Kansas City Chiefs, uh, the 49ers, and the last team, last two years, played for uh, the Detroit Lions. Okay, uh, today we worked on, uh, you know, Cam changes direction really well, and we really wanted to show that in the video. So we, uh, you know, we really wanted to show drills that, that really uh, brought about his change of direction. And uh, he's a very powerful kid as well. So that's why we did the harness on his back and him pulling the sleds. Uh, very strong, changes direction very well. Uh, super humble kid. And uh, one thing that sticks out the most about him is his attitude, great attitude. Based on what you've seen, what do you think a college coach might get in camp if he progresses? Well, you know, I've known Cam for two years now. And uh, the one word that I can say to all the coaches uh, if, if there was one word, is that he's a winner. If if you get Cam, uh, if you get a chance to get him on your team, he's going to give you everything he has. Uh, every time he walks in here, he's very impressive just in the standpoint of his attitude, very humble, and uh, not to mention he's one of the hardest workers on the team, if not the hardest worker. Young, young, from the hood with a plan, one foot in the street, one foot in the sand, one foot in the... Talk a little bit about, uh, you know, you work out with Lance today. Uh, we got a lot done today. Um, we did a lot of agility with cones and a lot of resistance and hand-eye coordination drills, and it was a lot of fun. I loved everything about it. It was a great time. Okay, and then t talk a little bit about uh, your past season at Stony Creek. Um, it was, it was, I enjoyed the season a lot. We just got a new coach, and he's changing and flipping the whole program around. Everybody's buying in to our arm up culture, and I think it's a great thing, and I'm excited to see what's coming next. Last year, uh, I started on varsity as a sophomore and led the team in rushing yards and had a strong season and finished strong. And this year, I'm looking to double my rushing yards and carries and do the best I can. And Cam, I talked to your coach. Uh, he gave you a hell of a compliment. I believe you said if he, with you, you could play any position on the field, and then you're the type of athlete that he would coach 20 times over. So that talks a little bit, a lot about your leadership skill. Talk a little bit about being a leader on the team. Well, we have these standards at practice, things like always keep your helmet on and no run or no walking on the field. So every time you see another guy not going by the rules, instead of the coaches yelling at them, us leaders on the team yell at them and get everybody in shape and make sure everybody's doing their job. And then describe your passion or your love for football. Man. Well, I've been playing it since three, and since I was three years old, and ever since then, I've loved it. I've enjoyed going to practice every day, and every time we lift, and everything as a team. Just, being a teammate it makes me love football the most. I want to be the best. I want to just come in and keep getting better every day, and do the best I possibly can. After football season, the last two years, I played basketball mainly just to keep in shape. Um, and then for us football players that play basketball, we lift in the morning, so we never miss a lift, and we're still getting gains throughout the off season. And 
then we have March Madness during the month of March where we all lift in the morning and get breakfast and um, we, our team basically, we don't really take time off, we, we're grinding the whole year round. And when, if you're playing football, academics always come first. I have a 3.4 GPA in the classroom. Uh, I'd say my favorite subject is probably math, just because it's the most challenging for me. So I love to be able to work at it and get better. And I'm hoping just to improve as years go on. And then as far as character, you know, all right, would you consider yourself to be a leader off the field as well? Uh, I would consider myself an elite man of character, like our uh, thing is for the arm rub culture. And in, inside and outside of the classroom, uh, always making sure I'm paying attention in class, being coachable on the field, and being able to do both uh, can really help you through high school. And then who motivates you? Who's the person that motivates you to do what you do? Um, probably my football coach. Coach Merlo or my dad, they're both always pushing me to be the best I can. I, I'm, like, I'm happy to have them by my side through this.